So how we perpetrate one another with our, our, our own energy is to have feelings like with our kids, especially with kids, you know, like I was saying earlier, we want them to be safe. We want them to be happy. We want them to be, you know, successful, whatever, whatever. But that emotion, when I have that emotion, like let's pretend like I want Shelby to be really successful, which I do. <laughs> but so let's, okay. So let's just say, I really want that for her. But if I want that and I start pushing it on her, it's a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, then I slide, then, then I'm pushing my emotional energy into her body and it goes into her. It doesn't just come out. Okay, it stays there. Okay, but at the same time, if I can still feel that, like I really want her to just be successful and to fly and soar and be this amazing, beautiful woman, happy, joyful, I'm feeling that in here. I'm not trying to make it in there. I'm not making it about her. Okay, it's my feeling. I keep it in me, I hold it in me. I contain it in me. I keep my awareness behind my eyes while I'm noticing and feeling what I'm experiencing. Okay. So when I do that, I'm no longer pushing my energy into her. So pay attention when you're actually working, when you're actually with your children or your friends or your lovers or whoever they, it is. And you have a desire or you have your friend, you, you know, you don't want them to do something or you want them to do something. Keep your awareness in your body, maintain your own emotion, feel it inside yourself, and you won't be perpetrating them. You won't be penetrating them and leaving your energy in their body. Okay. This is a big piece. You play with this. You're going to discover that you do it all the time. Now you start pulling yourself back. It doesn't stop you from having the exact same feeling. You just don't push it on them. Okay. Otherwise you got to clean this stuff up. Okay. Right, Shelby? Yeah. <laughs>